Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 9-24 from RC Hippaler Engineering Static Plug Edition. According to this problem, we have to locate the centroid x bar y bar of the area. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to consider a rectangular strip. So let us draw the strip. Now this strip has a length, length y, and this strip has a width dx. Now let us mark the point of intersection between the curve and our rectangular strip which means this point. Now let's call this point x and y. Now we know that the formula for finding the centroid of the area, we have x bar is equals to integration of x coordinate of centroid of our rectangular strip into the differential area divided by integration of differential area and for y bar we have integration of y coordinate of centroid of our rectangular strip into the differential area divided by integration of differential area. Now, now our differential area is basically the area of our strip that is in the shape of rectangle which means the differential area could also be written as y dx. Now we have to locate the centroid of our rectangular strip. This is true. Let me shade it. Now if you consider the point, the rectangle is a uniform figure. So its centroid x at its geometrical center, which means right here, somewhere in the middle. Let's call this point as x curly and y curly. Now if you looked at the x curly is same as x and y curly is equals to half of y. So now we are able to use these formulas. For example, for x bar, for x bar, x bar is equals to integration of x curly, which is equals to x into dA, which is equals to y dx divided by integration y dx and now we know that the y that is given in the problem is 9 minus x square and the lower and upper bounds for x are from 0 to 3. So x varies from 0 to 3 And y is 9 minus x squared divided by integration from 0 to 3, 9 minus x squared dx. Now you can use the formula of integration that we use to solve the polynomials, the integration of polynomials, this formula. Our integral becomes 0 to 3, 9x minus x cube dx divided by integral from 0 to 3, 
9 minus x square dx. Upon further simplification, it becomes x bar is equals to nine x square upon two minus x to the fourth over four. And the limits of x are from zero to three divided by the nine x minus x three upon three and the limits are again from zero to three. Upon solving it, the x bar comes out to be 1.125 fit or 9 upon 8 fit. So this is our first answer. Now we have to find the y bar. So for y bar, for y bar, y bar is equals to integral, we are considering this formula. If I zoom in, okay. y curly, which is equals to half of y. into y dx divided by integration of y dx. Now again, the x varies from 0 to 3 and y is again 9 minus x squared. So y bar becomes y bar is equals to 0 to 3, the constant is taken out of integral and 9 minus x square raised to the whole square divided by integration from 0 to 3, 9 minus x square dx. Now, upon further simplification, so by using this formula of integration, the y bar becomes half and uh, integration of 81 minus 18 x square plus x4 dx from 0 to 3 divided by integration From 0 to 3, a 9 minus x squared dx. So upon further simplifications, y bar is equals to half of 81x minus 18x cubed upon 3 plus x5 divided by 5 from 0 to 3 divided by 9x minus x3 upon 3 from 0 to 3. Now after substituting the limits, the y bar becomes 3.6 fit. So this is it for the y bar. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions, any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.